Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at Frisk's weapons and Soul Shatters. So, we're going to be going over every single one. So, those are the foods there. Quick look at those. And now, we're going to select the weapons. So, the first one is the stick and the band-aid. So, yeah. This is what... Oh. This is what you're going to start... Oh. Oh, I still have... Oh, okay. Gotta get the band-aid. Alright, so this is the stick and the band-aid. This is what you start out with. So, band-aid is for defense, and the stick is your weapon. So, so for every weapon, your attack gradually escalates, and for every different accessory, whether it be a hat or uh, anything, that's... I don't know, dude. I, I can't talk right now. So, these are your attacks. Those are your basic attacks. And now we're going to move on to the toy knife and the bow. So, I'm going to demonstrate the attacks here. That's its quote-unquote real attack. And now we're just going to use its basic attack. So, yeah. Those are these attacks, and now we're going to move on to the Tough Glove and the Bandana. So now this one also has a attack for your keypad, your number one attack. And I got blocked, which wasn't supposed to happen. Because I was actually trying to demonstrate, so I'm going to have to go get a dummy now. Because I can't use my brother for an example anymore, so I'm going to have to go find a dummy. Use one of those. Should be good. Okay. So, yeah, this is your basic attack, and then this is your real attack here. Your number one attack doesn't fling your enemy very far but we're gonna move on to the ballet shoes and the tutu so your main attacks so your main attack your number one attack is just repeated repetitively kicking and then it's the same thing for your other for your basic attack Now to the notebook and the glasses. So this is your is really your only attack for this. And then when you hit one, it does that weird thing. I still don't know what it does, but you only have your clicking attack. So and we're gonna move on to the apron and the pan. So the pan doesn't really have a number one attack. You can only use your basic attack or your click attack because I can't hit one, and even when I do, it doesn't do anything for this certain weapon. So yeah, that's what this does. Now to the gun and the hat. So if you hit, let me just get the hat here. So if you hit number one, you can hit it three times and then you can shoot three shots. So that's what this does. So that's your number one attack, and then it, and then if you run up, you can get up close and personal for your basic attack, which is just hitting them, and then you will shoot them, and you don't have to hit one to do that. So yeah, that's what the gun and the hat do. All right, now moving on to the worn dagger and temi armor. Temi armor looks weird, but by far this is my personal favorite, and this is your click attack. And then this is your one attack. So, they both do some pretty decent damage, but the click attack does a lot more damage than your number one attack will do. Now, moving on to, to the great finale, the heart locket and the real knife. Now, they pretty much do the um, exact same amount of damage, uh, or maybe just a little bit less than the worn dagger <clears throat> so yeah 
those are all your weapons and your accessories for defense. And yeah, so that's really everything for Frisk and Soul Shatters. In the next videos I do, I will go over the characters and their attacks. Oh, and if you want to play Soul Shatters, you're going to need a PC or a computer or a laptop. You can't play it on mobile for some reason because, well, I mean, because you can't hit number one. You don't have that kind of ability. So, yeah, that's the Worn Dagger. That's really all it does, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at GameHunter1274.